Hello YouTube. This is yet another Trinitron video. That's right, my addiction to Sony is very real and uh, here's proof. I dragged with a friend and just myself this 240 pound television up a flight of stairs. Um, this thing is an absolute behemoth. It makes the Trinitron that I currently have um, feel like a, like a feather. I mean, it's insane, the difference. This is a 32 inch, and this here is a 36. Now, just to give you an idea of how insanely large this television really is it, it's it, it boggles the mind um, this is one of the last uh, production runs of Sony's tube televisions especially in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio um, the reason I went through all of the hassle of dragging this one upstairs is because of one difference between the two televisions. This one here has an HDMI port on it and uh, the other one that I have is only a DVI which does not carry um, audio which really pissed me off. Um, the information on this thing, let me pause it really quick and I will uh, flip it around and we'll take a quick look. Okay, around the back here we can see the sheer amount of input output this television has, just like Sony always has. Um, but of course the one that I'm after is HDMI number seven. Um, you get your standard, uh, you know, I think it is one, two, where is two? Not sure uh, what's going on, why it skips over two, uh, to be honest with you. Um, oh, you know why? Because two is on the front and uh, where the little door is. That's why. So we have video one in, uh, two up front, three back here uh, for your standard uh, composite, and then uh, a monitor out option, which is for more like a home theater system. Uh, same with the... Uh, Control S feature that uh, all the Sony products have for like the main home theater to give it control over everything uh, from a separate room. Uh, we have, of course, our two uh, components and then uh, audio outs. Uh, one cool feature that I did uh, think was neat is uh, back in the day, uh, some carriers used cards in um, and they needed their own cable box. Uh, what uh, Sony did was build that into the television to where you could just put the cable card itself into there and uh, have all the channels and programming and blah blah blah. Um, we also have uh, digital uh, optical out um, and then you know cable all that good stuff. Um, Let's see, we can come over here to our information label uh, and see this is a 36 inch uh, television and it was manufactured in December of 04. Uh, and like I said, that's kind of late for a uh, tube television in the 4x3 aspect ratio. Uh, by then, Sony was making their Trinitrons and the 16x9, uh, the widescreen ones which I'm, um, believe it or not, still want to get my hands on even after uh, almost dying and literally losing this television down the stairs uh, trying to bring it up because of its weight. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm still sore. My back hurts so unbelievably bad. Um, when we got up to the last couple stairs, uh, my friend had the look of death in his eyes. Um, and we almost just let the television go all the way down the stairs uh, but we made it up uh, and it sat in the hallway for a couple days and then I managed to just finally drag it inside here today 
So that's why you see it on the floor and not uh, <laughs> and not on a stand or anything because uh, it's going to take two people uh, to do that and convincing my buddy to come back over and touch this thing again is going to take a miracle anytime soon. So, uh, and then as you can see, I had really, I had to move the couch and everything out of the way to make sure I could get everything in shot here too as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll flip it back around and I have the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 4 out so we can go over, you know, what it looks like with composite and what the uh, HDMI input looks like. Alright, so I will set that up and be right back. Really quick, I figured I would go over the condition of this television because unfortunately, um, even though I, this one I like to think is mint, you know, it still does have the one unfortunate scratch in the front, which drives me insane because I like everything to be perfect, of course. Um, but considering the age and how heavy it is, it, I, I understand. Um, bringing this guy up the stairs, um, we had some some damage here. It was rubbing on the railing as we were dragging it up. Nothing we could do about that just because of the size and the hallway. So that does disappoint and there's not much I can do besides maybe try to find a television and that's in better order. But yeah, um, the... Uh, continues down the side where rubbing was happening uh, oops. get some on the feet as well side isn't something that I'm too concerned about because no one's looking at the side so the fact that this is on there is it is what it is um, this television has been sitting in a garage for about fuck three four years the lady said um, and so things have been bumped into it while uh, it's been in the garage so unfortunately condition issues are definitely present um, I think I can do a little something with some goof off with this that that hurts man that's that's tough right there uh, other than that, that, that's the really, you know, some scuffs and some scrapes. That's really it. Um, Trinitron, super fine pitch. If we take a look here, the door, I guess, in an in a attempt to prevent the doors from breaking, actually flips up now, uh, which gives us access to video, too, and uh, a few... A few controls, channel, menu, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, this also uses the same memory card that uh, I have with the other television, the Trinitron. They work together. Um, power button's got some wear on it. You know, it is what it is. But for a free television, what can you do? Can't complain, right? Uh, Matter of fact, hmm, I got the card out. So, Sony, being Sony, has their own card for their television. I don't know, I don't believe they, anyone made one like this in this length. So, I think pretty sure Sony has their own little thing if you want to use their television. And it would probably only fit in a Sony camera. Um, and as you can see, uh, this thing is 128 uh, megabytes, so you could probably fit maybe one or two pictures uh, from today's cell phone cameras on this thing. So I mean, we're really, uh, really making some progress here. But uh, yeah, she just fits right in all the way, and a little click ski. Hey, and we get a little light that says that it recognizes it. Ooh. Now, I did not get a, um, oh, and it turns on and automatically pulls them up. We got a picture of a uh, truck, a barn, a uh, question mark, and uh, wheat fields. Um, that made me lose my train of thought. 
Uh, I did not get a owner's manual, nor did I get a remote. Um, the the remote from the other Trinitron uh, pretty much does most features with this television. I can um, pull up our menu here. Oh boy! Oh, you know what? Just because I got I got to change it to TV. There we are. And I can go and uh, change all of these fancy features. Let me tell you about treble and bass and the sound that comes out of these televisions. It is second to none. Uh, especially if you've been listening to what comes out of your flat screen, even if you have a sound bar. Um, and you go from that to how much rich sound comes out of this television at you, um, you would wonder, you would be pissed. You'd wonder what, 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 what happened and why we went in such a bad direction backwards when it comes to sound. And, and it, my camera won't translate it, but it, it's fantastic stuff. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's do this. Um, we're going. To f let me fire up the uh, systems here. That's what we'll do. Okay, now I'm going to try to hold this as still as possible while playing a little bit of the Simpsons game here, and we'll give it some good volume, and hopefully it translates. That might be too loud. from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it? Maybe you'd do better in a turn-based RPG. I hate know-it-all chocolate. Station two. I don't. Uh, I don't say so myself. Yeah, whatever. Uh, unfortunately, you get that line that goes up and down when recording a CRT. But let's uh, go ahead and pause this and switch it to uh, PlayStation Four and see what it looks like with uh, HD going. Okay, now since this is a 4x3 aspect ratio, you know, tube, um, any HD source is going to get compressed 
down and you'll have that movie theater effect um, in order to, you know, to get to the 16 by 9 that HD uses. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just try a little bit of uh, Bloodborne here and see how that uh, looks and sounds. Um, I really, again, I cannot uh, explain enough how how well the sound is. These things have, um, I believe it's either an 8 or a 10 inch subwoofer built into them uh, in the back for just the whole complete surround system, or not sound. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> now, there's no such thing as a refresh rate or how, with these televisions like there is with, um, you know, your flat panels. So, you know, the, you don't have to worry about, I mean, it, the video game playing on them is, is fantastic. You know, it, it's it's the snappiest you'll, you've ever had played. That was a really good scene. can't explain to you it's an addiction uh, let me get the lights back on and I'll give you a final final like overview of this thing so I figure we would just hop on the internet really quick and take a look at what we got uh, again our model number uh, the KD 36 XS 955 um, we'll go to the interesting features here anyway. It is a CRT, 3G digital, our inputs. Um, here are, we'll have our measurements. So this thing is basically 40 inches wide, uh, 25 inches deep, um, 30 inches high, and 234 pounds, 235 pounds. Now, 235 pounds up a flight of stairs with two guys doesn't sound that bad until you try carrying it. And especially the television with no real um, good points to grab onto to carry. Um, it was scary as hell. Um, so basically, you know, you got 12 inches and a foot. So 12, 24, 36, you know, so it is three feet three inches wide over two feet deep you know on almost another uh three feet in height i mean it's it's just stupid i have nowhere to put the damn thing um any other important features 1080i it's not a 1080p uh they couldn't do 1080p with the tube so that's the best you get uh, two speakers and a subwoofer, um, it's 30 watts for the system, um, does not list the size of the subwoofer, but I believe it's 8 or 10. Um, memory card, expansion slots, power supply, blah blah blah, that, that's it. Uh, looking up at the MSRP for this television when it was first sold, uh, I found a number of $16.99. 
Um, but that was a number posted in a forum. I never was able to find an actual price. But, um, hey, for free, he works for me. Um, now it's like, what do I do with the damn thing? Uh, it doesn't go up there because it wouldn't fit anyway. Um, you know, we got the other Trinitron. I managed to, you know, I picked up a uh, little, this little guy from the 60s, a black and white RCA portable. You know, I cleaned that up. I might make a video on that. Um, bedroom's got nothing going on in here because, uh, well, you can't see, but I already got a 55 inch screen television in the bedroom. So I really don't have anywhere to put this thing. <laughs> you know, let's get a, get a look. You know, uh, uh, where am I supposed to put the television? I think it's time uh, to start looking at a new place. And another thing, uh, I'm hiring some movers to move these two televisions. There's not a way in hell I'm touching them again. Um, final opinion, uh, again, I... I I don't have the remote, so I don't know if I'm missing out on some features. One is the uh, like the picture-in-picture -picture mode. Um, I don't know if this has that option. I know my Sony Trinitron with this remote does. Um, I'm kind of torn. I do like this television. Um, I wish I had a stand for it. I wish I had the remote for it. I wish it was in better condition. Um, if I had to choose right now, man, that's tough. I want them both because I want the H, I want the HDMI port that's on here. Um, but I want the condition that this thing's in. So it is what it is. And then, uh, here's a little sneak peek at the next, uh, Sony addiction that I have. I uh, needed, I've uh, been on the hunt for a good VCR for a little while at the local Goodwills and Savers and stuff like that. And then I found this Sony Beauty uh, for $11 is what I paid for it at Savers. Um, now when I first saw it, I didn't recognize it was a VCR at first. Um, I just saw the Sony badge and I saw the, the door, which I thought was weird. I'm like, oh, then I saw it obviously play and then, you know, VHS, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I was like, wow, how does this thing eject? I thought, I thought maybe this whole thing would come like out and you put the tape in and then push it closed. And, uh, so I took it off the shelf and I looked and it's got this, uh, door that comes down and then you have the VCR slot back there when he gives us uh, some extra controls and stuff like that inside there. Um, really, really, uh, a really sharp VCR. You know, it does have some wear. It needs a little bit of cleaning up still. Um, but uh, it works, you know, and that's what matters. So I can pull out uh, my, my VHS collection here and uh put it on the on the on the new television yep and then uh so if anybody's interested to the movies i watched when i was a teenager here you go um uh three stooges you have to have three stooges i mean they're classic if you don't like the three stooges uh you're going to hell um <laughs> uh fight club Gone in 60 Seconds, Wild Things, um, two of the hottest chicks that ever came out of the late 80s or late 90s. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, Denise Richards was my, my waifu for the longest time. Uh, uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is a must watch. I don't like Johnny Depp at all, but that movie's fantastic. Uh, Wishmaster is a good B horror movie. Uh, Starship Troopers, everybody knows Starship Troopers, uh, Alien, uh, Aliens, uh, second one is in there, um, what's in this one? Ah, classic, classic, and then of course, yes, I um, listened to ICP uh, back in the early 90s. 
um, back when I thought they were good anyway. Uh, and here's my one relic and my proof. I bought this tape new. Come on, focus. Yeah, I bought this new from a place called Flipside. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling, guys. Uh, I'll be back with another video on the, do maybe something on the VCR. Uh, and then uh, I have uh, something really cool uh, for electricity. Uh, I got a converter that converts 240 AC to uh, 600 volts DC. We're going to have some serious fun with that. So, uh... Stay tuned, guys, and then I'll see you soon. Thanks as always. Take care.